Okay, Quinton, so how's the training going? Now you're back in the UK. Our training's going great. There's, there's, there's been a real good camp so far, and uh, they got some really good uh, training partners for me. Smart partners and people to wrestle with is, is awesome. Okay, so who have you brought across with you for your camp? Oh, I brought Lance Gibson with me to help me out with my Muay Thai because um, cause I, uh, cause Michael Bisping and I both got, um, you know, we fight on the same car, we both got trainers, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to, you know, take Dave Jackson away from him because it's two important fights for both of us. I think this is like the most important fight of my, of my life because um, I've been, I've never been so motivated to, to, to fight somebody before, so I just, I didn't want no problems between, uh, you know, I didn't want no problems. I didn't want to take no, no time away from, from, from Michael Bisbee with, with, with the team Muay Thai coach. So Lance is really good and been helping me out a lot. I've been training with him um, off and on when I went to uh, Vancouver and stuff, so. Okay, have you brought anybody else across with you? Uh, Mike, Mike Dolce to uh, do my nutrition. Okay, so what what's Mike doing with you? Mike Mike is cooking my meals and he's working real close with Kerry Kays. Uh, um, and um, Mike is um, you know just um, making sure I, I eat the right things and have the right nutrition and giving me uh, my supplements uh, all, all the time on time and everything. Uh, Kerry Kays hooked me up with some. Uh, CNP supplements, the best supplements in the world. I want to give big thanks to Kerry Case because you know that's I really um, believe in that supplement. It's the only supplement I ever take. I won't take anything else. And I really, I really appreciate him. You know, he drives down here and gives it to us himself. And that's real noble of him. You know. Okay, so you're you're back at the Wolf's Lair now, back in the fold. Um, have you missed the gym, your teammates and your coaches? Yeah, I, I missed everybody. You know, it's, it's been a while since I've been over here training and everything. So I missed everybody. Everybody's this is you know, this is the place, man. Everybody cool and everything. We all have a laugh and train and this is this is this is how I like to train and stuff, you know. This is the place. Okay, I've been speaking to your, your manager Anthony and he says you you've got a, a special relationship with your boxing coach, Mark Kenny. Yeah, Mark Kennedy, yeah, he's the man, you know. We Can you both, tell us a little bit about it? Well, Mark Kennedy and I both, you know, have Tennessee blood in us. That's 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 the bun that's the bunning right there, but Mark Kennedy helped me defeat the guy who um, beat me twice and you know what I'm saying, I always I always love him for that. You know what I'm saying? Mark Kennedy's an excellent boxing coach. It's a it's a joke around the gym saying it, it, we think he invented boxing. <laughs> That guy's good, you know. I haven't, I haven't ever seen a boxing trainer lose that guy, ever. I never worked with one. Just the way he breaks it down, you know. Okay. Um, noticed over the last couple of weeks that you've had a, a little bit of a war of words with with Rashad on Twitter. Rashad. Yeah, on the on the Twitter account. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about it and uh, what you thought of his comments? <laughs> I thought his little sister wrote his comments back for him because, boy, I tell you. But, you know, I don't know, Rashad, Rashad is like a kid. He's like a, he's like a, he's like a boy to me, you know what I'm saying? I'm a grown-ass man. I was just, um, I was just making a statement that, you know, training's going good and, and I, and I said that Rashad is going to, is going to hate May 29th. He's going, he's going to hate that date for the rest of his life. Whenever, every year when May 29th comes, he's going to have a little cringe or something. It's going to remind him of, you know what I'm saying, of the, the day he got his ass beat, you know what I'm saying? But I just put on my Twitter, you know how people tweet, tweet stuff, and come find out he wrote some stuff back and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, look at this guy. You know, I didn't, I didn't even know he paid attention to my Twitter. I don't know, I don't know how the whole Twitter thing works, but I didn't know that, I didn't know that he could see what I tweet or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? At least some I was putting for my fans, and then we went back and forth a few times, and he just said some real stupid stuff. So. You know, but I'm glad he said. I'm glad he says that. I'm glad he is the way he is because it, it, it motivates me. I'm very, I'm very motivated to whoop his ass. I'm training really hard. You know, what I'm saying it's just, it's just, I just don't, I don't understand. You know, what I'm saying why he, why he wants to act 
like a little kid all the time, trying to get off my face. And no matter where I'm at, I can be in the club. If he's there, I can. Wherever I'm at, I'll be at, at, stay in the same hotel. He got some. He got something to say. I try to stay cool, wouldn't be cool, because I know what type of person I am. Because I know I almost beat his ass on the show. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know, I try to stay cool, and you know what I'm saying? Because I know myself, my temper and stuff. So, but you know, when it, when when, it, when time comes, when we step into the cage, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him eat all those words he, he said, all the stuff he said. He thinks, I don't know, I don't know. He thinks he's cool. He, Trying to say I got no heart or I'm scared or I don't understand. <laughs> he he tried to make it sound like the reason why I didn't fight him, the reason why I did the movie and I didn't fight him is because I was scared of him. Like, how could somebody be scared of him? Because that was right after he, he had that fight with Machida. How could anybody be scared of him after the display he put on with Machida? Like, I know Machida's tough and everything, but Machida ain't known for having big heavy hands. And, 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 and I tell you, like, Shaw didn't look impressive at all. Okay, you've got done training this morning over at the Wolf's Lair. Um, you know, how are you, how you filling your spare time? Uh, I like to play video games and, and relax and, and uh, you know, sometimes take a nap, but mostly I play video games. I like these video games. This okay. is a new one I'm trying out right here, so it's, sorry I'm not concentrating too much on this interview because I'm getting my I'm getting my butt kicked right now, but Okay, what is it you are you are playing at the minute? What is this? This is a, a bad company too. I was in some tanks, but this got blown the hell up, so I can't find it. I can't find more tanks because I I see a tank right here. See, you, you can drive anything. I think somebody in this tank already. I'm getting this tank too. Somebody's driving the tank. I'm helping them drive the tank. I guess I just shoot while he drives. I don't even know this guy, and we both grab the tank. I wonder if I drive it too. Oh, I'm just shooting. Yeah, so that's what I like to do. I just like to play video games and stuff like that. What What do you like about this game? Uh, I like that uh, you can drive tanks and, and stuff like that. And. It's kind of like Call of Duty, but a little better. You can drive tanks and stuff like that. I just got blown up again because this, this guy don't even know how to drive a tank. I hate losing in video games. But I'm online playing stuff right now, so. Do you think your experience on the movie set probably helped you with the game? <laughs> on a movie set? Yeah. No. I say all the time I, I spent waiting around probably helped me on the movie set. Hey! Hey, come back here! I wish I had my headset on so I could talk to that dude. He just took off in the last vehicle. <laughs> and the tank blew up. Now somebody's shooting me in my ass while I'm trying to run. You know, all the time I spent waiting on a, on a movie set probably helped me out with video games. That's what I did in my spare time, just play video games. Did they uh, show you how to shoot a tank or shoot guns on the movie set? Oh, they did. They, they taught me how to shoot real guns on the movie set and everything. We, uh, I had an awesome um, weapons trainer. I can't say his name, but you know what I'm saying? He, he's the real deal. He, SAS, he's from here from the UK. And um, this guy, he, he did like a, at least five or six tours to, um, I guess it was Afghanistan or wherever the war was going on. While he was still training, was come back, injured himself a little bit, take a day off. And, and start back training us on weapons. That was crazy. Like we didn't really talk about it. He couldn't talk about his missions, but we know he we knew he was we knew he if he came back he had killed people. He's a real deal, you know, this guy.